Hello and welcome back, all my Dragon Ball theorists. In my last video, I took a deep look at how the villain Moro has been underestimated and carefully laid out why Moro is more terrifying than you think, and can be compared with some of the greatest anime villains like Lord Aizen. That Moro is really one of the most calculating antagonists that we have gotten in the Dragon Ball universe because he isn't overconfident about his powers, that indeed everything that has transpired up to this epic battle on Earth is going according to Moro's plan. This became very clear in the most recent manga chapter 57 when 7-3 was defeated by Android 17 who landed a vicious attack that sent him flying off the battlefield. Moro arrived and caught 7-3 by the back of the head and then in this panel here you might have thought that he would have been executed for failing his master. If this was Frieza he would have called 7-3's powers pathetic and that he shouldn't have even allowed such a weakling in his army. Frieza would have destroyed 7-3 and said if you want something done right you have to do it yourself due to his overconfidence in his power. Moro didn't do that though, since he's a lot more sophisticated than that. Ahem, <clears throat> 7-3, I told you not to employ my abilities so casually. S sorry, but we didn't stand a chance otherwise. There will come a time when I require his power once again. Help him recover. Moro hasn't been threatened even once since the only one that could seal his magic away was the Grand Supreme Kai, and we know that he lost those abilities because they went to Kid Buu and Goku obliterated them. So why would Moro have the need for anyone in his army, much less 7-3, if no one can really oppose his powers? The answer is Moro's endgame and what he really wants to achieve. When Goku, Vegeta, and the Lord of Lords were fighting a losing battle on Namek, Goku yells out, Moro, what are you really after here? What is the point of all this? Moro responds with a vague outline, To create an ideal galaxy where I am free to consume planets as I wish. Gathering these allies is one small step towards that end. Vegeta gets closer to Moro's real goal with the next question. You hold a grudge against the Galactic Patrol then? We see how close this question actually must have been to his real agenda because it made Moro ponder for a moment and say, I wonder. Instead of revealing his true plan though, Moro states, What I can say is I detest the sort of peace that you people want to preserve on this planet and others. All those who would strive for such nonsense should be eradicated. As we know, Moro isn't a fool and he never reveals his true intent, but Vegeta obviously was getting close. So for Moro to freely reshape the universe, there is something he must do and revenge to be accomplished for his 10 million year imprisonment. Moro is very powerful with his magic, there is no doubt about that, but 7-3's copy abilities are required for him to finish his ultimate goal, to feast on the best energy source the universe has to offer, an energy source that is the foundation of all creation in Universe 7 and is magical in nature, the sacred homeworld of the Kais. At this moment, the Kai homeworld can't be reached by traditional means like his spaceship. It can only be reached by instant transmission or as we know, the Supreme Kai's ability to Kai Kai and teleport there since these sacred places exist outside of the known universe. Moro knows this since he stated it in manga chapter 51 after absorbing Namek. Sagabo said, Lord Moro, it kinda looked like those Galactic Patrol guys vanish. They've gotta be dead, right? No. There are two among them capable of instant teleportation, including the great Lord of Lords. They must have escaped again. It was then asked if they should pursue them and Moro has other plans. Never mind them. Individuals with that much power are rare enough, so I choose to let them roam this universe like livestock. Naturally, I will kill them should they interfere again. Which is exactly what Moro is counting on, for the heroes of Earth, Goku, Vegeta, and the Lord of Lords to interfere again. This is why Moro allowed for Earth to have two months to prepare, because he doesn't just want Goku and Vegeta to return with more energy than ever to absorb. Moro carefully has planned to save 7-3 so we can copy the instant teleportation ability from either Goku or the Grand Supreme Kai when he returns to battle. With Goku arriving first on Earth to save Krillin from Mist Thick, everything seems to be going as planned for Moro since both chess pieces he needs are now on the playing field. We must remember that the Sleeping Boo also arrived and is at the lookout. Now we would like to think that 7-3 won't get the drop on Goku or be able to use an invisible technique to copy his abilities and this might be true. However, I don't think Moro will task 7-3 with copying Goku's abilities, but instead focus on a far more easier target that is now asleep on the lookout. I would also like to state that copying the Kai Kai ability from the Grand Supreme Kai is also superior to instant transmission in several ways that are important to Moro. 
as we know the downfall to instant transmission is that you need to be able to sense an energy source on the planet that you want to teleport to, which is why Goku couldn't make it to Earth right away. So there is a limit on the distance of this ability and it has come up short on several situations. However, the Kai Kai or world to world ability means that the user can transport anywhere to within and even outside the universe. So nothing is off limits for Moro as 7-3 copies the Kai Kai ability. Moro would easily be able to get to the sacred world of the Kais, King Kai's planet, Beerus planet, or even Zeno's palace. This Kai Kai ability can even travel to other universes if he wants, since this is how Zamasu was able to eliminate all the gods in the future Trunks timeline. The entire multiverse would effectively be on Moro's dinner menu now, where he could freely travel anywhere he wants in an instant. This is why Moro requires 7-3's power once again, as it is the only way to have the freedom he needs to achieve his end goal. Now earlier I did say Moro wants to feast on the best energy source the universe has to offer. The sacred world of the Kais is the center of creation and flowing with life force and magical energy. I want to place an emphasis on the magical aspect of it since the source of Moro's power is magic. I also believe that Moro has been patiently waiting to go there because he needed to absorb all these other planets first to reach his complete state before he could even attempt to absorb this magical Kai homeworld. He just needed his magic at its highest possible power first. All the Kais are born with magical creation powers. They can create the hardest materials in the universe out of thin air. They are also responsible for creating life and cultivating it since time immemorial. The Kais are the true divine beings since they are born that way. And as we know, all Kais are born from magical fruit of the Shinjin tree. The best revenge for Moro is to take from the Kais what was taken from him, which was his freedom and most importantly, his power. If Moro is able to siphon the sacred creation energy of the Kai homeworld and also drain the magical Shinjin tree that gives birth to every Kai and Supreme Kai granting them their powers, there is no telling how powerful Moro and his magic would become. He would rob the Kais of their freedom, life, and magical powers. Just like Miris said, Moro is known for absorbing the life force of planets and turning it into his own power. In that sense, his very energy is a mass of slaughtered souls. If 7-3 is able to copy this Kai Kai ability, then it is game over for the heroes of Earth. I imagine in the next chapter, Goku will step in to lend a hand against Sagambo, who is basically manhandling the Z Fighters with the power boost he got from Moro. I do think Gohan, Piccolo, and the androids will tell Goku to handle Moro and that they got this. However, while this epic battle begins, 7-3 would have arrived on the lookout and he is an artificial lifeform that doesn't have emotions. If 7-3 threatens Mr. Satan, you know Boo will awaken to protect what he loves the most and the Grand Supreme Kai who is now awake inside of Boo would also emerge and want to protect everyone there and move on to lend a hand against Moro. However, soon as the Grand Supreme Kai awakens, 7-3 can use the invisibility technique and speed that he has and copy his powers. Upon doing this, he can communicate with Moro that his mission has been accomplished. This is when Moro grins and tells Goku and everyone that their time is now up. While all of you have fantastic energy, this planet and all of you will be spared for now as I have something far more important to attend to. I will be back though, don't you worry about that. With 7-3 appearing by his side, Moro turns to Sagabo and says, I leave these matters to you while I accomplish my plan. 7-3 uses the Kai Kai ability teleporting Moro to the sacred world of the Kais so he can dine on the most important power of the universe, taking all their magic and energy for his own. Obviously Shin and the old Kai won't be able to resist or stop Moro, so it will be up to Vegeta getting into the battle and helping Goku and the Z fighters on Earth so they can save the sacred world of the Kais before Moro gains power that would surely make him unstoppable. Realistically, Moro could teleport to any universe or sacred Kai homeworld, killing them and absorbing their abundant creation, life force, and magic. Moro really is a villain that has no limits and if he is successful with this plan, it might take the gods or angels to stop him. I have said it a few times that I believe this arc could continue into next year, that it's possible we might have another 7-12 chapters left, which means if this is the case, things are actually going to get much worse for our heroes. Personally, I would like if they made Dragon Ball a little darker again and bring back that feeling of despair where it looks like they really will lose. I think they have done it really nicely on a few occasions so far and would love for this trend to continue. Also, I would be open to characters dying on Earth before Moro leaves 
just to add this feeling of loss and what they are fighting for to save the universe. I really think that they need to find a way for some characters to be permanently killed off where the Dragon Balls can't revive them. One example would be if Beerus Huck hides something, it doesn't die. It is a race, so you don't end up at the checkout where King Yemma passes judgment on you. You are literally a race from existence, so there is no halo for you. We have seen Shenron scared of Lord Beerus, and it is likely that if someone is Hakkaid, that it wouldn't be within Shenron's power to reverse that. You would need the Super Dragon Balls, and I doubt that the Angels are going to be down to collect them for you just to revive someone. You would be out of luck. I bring this up because if Moro is devouring souls, you likely don't go to Otherworld, but you are trapped inside of him forever. Which is why Moro's key feels like the screams of countless people in pain. So one way to add suspense back into the show is to have a way for people to permanently die again, instead of characters pretty much getting an unlimited do-over from Wishes. I have to say that this arc has the best DBZ feel to it so far in my opinion, so I really look forward to what they have planned coming up. Now tell me, do you think that Moro's plan for 7-3 is to copy the Kai Kai ability so he can absorb the sacred homeworld of the Kais? Do you think that we need characters that have a way to permanently die off to add a darker and more suspenseful nature to the show again? I always love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and smash that like button. Also, please subscribe to support the channel and turn on that notification bell to keep those theories coming.